This is gonna be a really short and sweet video. I'm gonna show you how to go from these super heavy lead acid batteries on your RV to a very lightweight, more than twice as powerful lithium iron phosphate and how to connect it properly. Let me show you how to do that. So in my battery compartments, I actually have two lithium iron phosphate batteries. These are Lion Energy Safari UT 1300s. These are my favorite go-to lithium iron phosphate batteries. The Battleborns are also very good, but I will include a $100 coupon that goes for these batteries. I like them because they also have this charge meter built in. BMS, all of that wonderful stuff. They're very lightweight. They're lighter than the Battleborns. The few basic connections you need, I have this red, which is my RV main positive, this white, which is my RV main negative. Because these are two batteries in 12 volts, we need to wire them in parallel. So I have this red cable going from positive to positive and this black cable going from negative to negative. Then the negative RV main cable goes to the negative on battery one. And then the RV main positive cable goes to the positive post of battery two. And just like that, we have a parallel connection. I hope you found this helpful. If you want more information on how I run my entire RV without hooking up to shore power, including running my air conditioner, which is what I'm doing right now, I can run the microwave, the fridge, everything, then make sure you're subscribed and like this video and go check out my other RV videos on how I completely renovated this to use solar. I'll have another longer video about these batteries that you'll also want to go see. So if you want to run your RV boondocking off grid 100% of the time, then make sure you go check out those other videos. Be prepared. We'll see you in the next video.